الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وتمتعه فيها طويلا يا ابن الحسن يا ابن الحسن يا ابن الحسن يا ابن الحسن أجرك الله يا صاحب الزمان في مصيبة جدك الحسين عليه السلام صلوا على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين uh, at first, it's my honor that I'm among you, brothers and sisters, and I so appreciate uh, your hospitality here. It was uh, very interesting for me to be here among you. It's my honor exactly to be here. Alhamdulillah, I have this opportunity to come here. Today I'm with you and we gather together for the morning and the Azan of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. In fact, this Aza belongs, in fact, to the Imam Zaman, Sahib Al Zaman alayhi salam, or Imams nowadays. It belongs to Sahib Al Aza, Sahib Al Zaman alayhi salam. Because of that, we started to say Tasliyah and the condolence to the Imam uh, Zaman alayhi salam, Fajr al Hassan al Mahdi alayhi salam. But uh, I wanted to only mention to some things about uh, uh, Imam Hussein and the day of Ashura. It's very good that we have the mornings and the aza for Imam Hussein alayhi salam as we have many traditions among the uh, from the uh, authentic ahadith of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam that when we have the morning and the aza and such of these especially in such of this country that you are not so much we have no uh, we are not so much the population of Shia is not so much you will be uh, you should be sure that you will be rewarded by Allah, insha'Allah, Allah will accept all the aza of all of us, insha'Allah, and will answer all the questions, all the ask and requests of all of us, insha'Allah. And uh, we have many ahadith that you heard about the importance of these days, about the importance of aza Imam Hussein, that everyone who has crying for Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, Allah will remove all the unclean, all the sins that he had before with this intention that he comes to the, this, such a this ceremony. It's very good, it's recommended, it's very good. Alhamdulillah, Allah accept all of us. But the thing which is more important than it is that we should notice somehow uh, about the, this happening and the day of Ashura. Why such a this uh, tragedy happened after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why it happened for the descendants of the Prophet? Why the people, why the people who were in, appeared they were Muslims? They come against the Imam Hussein and killed with ablution, with the good intention. They killed Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Why this happened? What's the benefit of that? If we know what happened before, it's for the future of all of us. Inshallah, all of us, we are waiting for Imam Zaman alayhi salam. We read some uh, traditions from different Imams, infallible Imams. They say the thing that happened for Imam Hussein before that the Muslims killed the descendants of the Prophet with such a this and terrible way, exactly this happened in the future, will be happening in the future for Imam Zaman. About the enemies of Imam Zaman, who are the enemies? They say some people who are in appear Muslims. 
again, come against and rising against the Imam Zaman at that time. Because of that, we should notice what happened. Why Imam Hussein has a prizing? Why Imam Hussein went to the Karbala? Because of that, we should notice and focus on that. What happened? Imam Ali Salam, infallible Imam Ali Salam says about it that why uh, Imam Hussein has a prizing? Imam Hussein didn't accept the allegiance of Yazid because he didn't want to, he, didn't, he wanted to show that and make the Islam pure from everything. Imam Hussain alayhi salam in different sermon and the khutbah in the road of Mecca to the road of to Karbala in different part in different position he had different khutbah and speech in different part he mentioned that I didn't come to the Karbala for fighting I was I am Imam I'm the descendants of the Prophet I was in Mecca they forced me to you should accept the allegiance of Yazid if I accepted that I shows that they are Muslims, but in fact they are not Muslims. They change the role of Islam. It is not Islam. If it is Islam, I'm not Muslim. It is not Islam. In fact, if I am the descendants of the Prophet, that the Prophet said, you are the Sayyidu Ahl al-Jannah. If I am the person that the Prophet said about me, I say it is not Islam. Islam changed. Only the name of Islam is only remained here. Because of that, I cannot accept this. Because God wants it. And I, he went out from the Mecca. And with his descendants, with his family, ladies, and the children. He didn't go to the Karbala. Why? Because the people of the Kufa had invited, invited and sent many invitations for Imam to come to us. And you should be as a governor for all of us. He went to the Kufa. But after, after that, they circled the Imam and uh, forced Imam to go to the Karbala and sacrifice the martyr there. But Imam wanted to show and help the people to increase our knowledge, increase our ma'rifah. It is the thing which is very important that Imam Hussein mentioned so much. You should understand the pure and know and believe. We should believe to the Islam which is pure Islam. The thing that they exactly free of any error or mistakes. It is the thing that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned before. And when, uh, after some years, the people asked why the tragedy of the Karbala happened, they say, Imam alayhi salam mentioned, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam mentioned, because the people, they didn't follow the order of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he mentioned, I'm leaving you two precious things, the two shall never separate from each other until they come to me by the pool of paradise. These are the book of Allah and my progeny, Ahlul Bayt. The two shall never, the Prophet Muhammad, who is the Prophet Muhammad? The Prophet Muhammad is someone, don't forget that Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, well, if we want, you know who is the Prophet Muhammad? The Prophet Muhammad is the person that Allah Almighty says, وَمَا يَنْتَقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ Everything that the Prophet says, it is a revelation revealed by Quran, revealed by Allah. Everything, in huwa illa wahyun yuha. Allah Almighty doesn't say, in huwa mithlu wahyun. Exactly, it is itself, it is revelation. It is the meaning of infallibility. The Prophet should be infallible, free of error or mistakes. Because they want to guide the people. They want to instruct the people on behalf of Allah, by the order of Allah. Because of that, the Prophet said, after me, because we have some verses in the Holy Quran which is so clear, but we have some other verses. If you don't have the in, uh, interpretation of the infallible Imams, the person who has the knowledge which is given by God, this book revealed by Allah, who should explain it? Some people maybe they say that this book revealed, but it doesn't need to need any explanation, interpretation. How can we say that when the children go to the first class, how we can say it is a simple book, you can learn it. You don't need to any teacher. Such as this book which is revealed by Allah Almighty. He says that in the Holy Quran, we reveal the Holy Quran Why Allah Almighty says that the Prophet should make it clear for everyone? If it was simple, Allah Almighty says that give it to the people and recite it for the people. The people recite it and under understand it everything. 
But Allah Almighty says that هن أم الكتاب وأخر متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيتبعون ما تشابه منه ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله والراسخون في العلم It is a thing that happened after the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم that the Prophet Muhammad said to all the people if you wanna don't go astray you don't like to be misguided it's logically, it's so logically you should follow the people who has the knowledge which is revealed by God. Their knowledge is connected to the knowledge of God. Allah gives them this knowledge and they can interpret and make it clear for all of us. Because of that, nowadays, nowadays, what should we do? We have, alhamdulillah, the Azza for Imam Hussein. We have the, such a ceremony for Imam Hussein. It's very good. But after that, we should know and understand exactly, like the people, we should not be like the people of Imam Hussein. The, their name was Muslim. They prayed, they had everything, but they didn't follow the Imam Zaman. Or their Imam Zaman was Imam Hussein, but they didn't follow the Imam Zaman. We should, what should we do nowadays for Imam Zaman now? Exactly what Imam Zaman wants from all of us. If he he's now alive here, he's alive among us. When he appeared, reappeared, what he wants from all of us. It's the thing that the Prophet Muhammad also wants from all of us. That Imam, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, فَلْيُبَلِّغَ الْحَاضَرُ الْغَائِبُ وَالْوَالِدُ الْوَلَدُ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْغِيَامَةِ it's the thing that we, when we read different ahadiths, they say that if you do everything, every prayer, and you have ma'rifah, you increase your ma'rifah, you will be more rewarded. What's the meaning of ma'rifah? Why having the knowledge is very important? Why? Be because if you have knowledge, if you know everything clear, you will not be misguided by the shubha, by different things, by different problems, by different things that happen, especially in the akhir zaman, that many things happen. That many people will be misguided. Because of that, we should be very make sure about our beliefs, about everything that we have. We should be up to date about everything. So nowadays, alhamdulillah, we have many ahadiths about the interpretation of the whole Quran. We alhamdulillah, in the month of Ramadan, for example, we gather together and recite the Quran. Also, it's very good to gather together in our family, five percent, two percent, three percent. And read some ahadith and try to understand. Alhamdulillah, we have many scholars here. They can make it clear for you, explain it for you, different ahadith. We have the interpretation of Quran. We should have the interpretation of ahadith. They make it clear for all of us. We have some important ahadith, like authentic ahadith, which is make clear all the belief about the Islam. One of them is the hadith al Ghadir, the Khatabat al Ghadir. Alhamdulillah, nowadays we, in the different sites, websites, we have it. We have the source of it. That, for example, in the site khatabagadir.com, we have the khatabagadir in different languages, the interpretation of that, different part of that. The scholars in Iran gather together, some youth gather together, and make this such a this site, and part by part they explain it. It's very important, this khatabah. It's exactly very important that I focus on that. Because the authenticity of this hadith, and in this hadith we have different parts. At first, how should we, as a Muslim, as a Shia, we should believe in Allah, at first, the Prophet Muhammad mentioned, Alhamdulillah, Allahi ala fi tawahudeh, wa dana fi tafarudeh, wa jalla fi sultanehi, wa adama fi arkaneh, wa ahata bi kulli shayin alma wa huwa fi makana. Speak about Allah. Who can make it clear that how should we believe in Allah better than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam? After that, speak about the justice of justice of Allah. After that, speak about the different criteria of the prophets. Who were the prophet, the prophet, all the prophets speak about the different prophets, speak about the imams. How should we, as a Shia believe to the imam, imamah, about everything, about hajj, about imam zaman, everything that you want, it is, I can say, it is exactly exists in this khatabah, the khatabah al-ghadir. And also another thing is the khatabah al fadag the sermon of fadag that Lady Fatima, sallamullah alayha, after the demise of the prophet Muhammad, you know that something happened for the Lady Fatima, sallamullah alayha, Fatima al-Zahra, or mother, Something happened for Lady Fatima, sallallahu alayha. Exactly on the sermon of Fadak, the Khutbatul Fadak, Khutbatul Fadak, it is also exists in this site, the Khutbagadir.com. In different languages also exist. Exactly Lady Fatima speak about the people. Why the people after the demise of the Prophet Muhammad did with the descendants of the Prophet. 
with the Lady Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet. Sayyidatun Nisa al Alameen. What happened for her? She herself explained everything that happened. After that, I speak about the people they were in the time of Prophet Muhammad. Why the people did that? Why the people, they were in different battles and war with the Prophet Muhammad. They did such a thing after the Prophet Muhammad. Two or three days after the demise of the Prophet Muhammad, this happened. The, who, from whom? From the companion of the Prophet Muhammad. Why they did that? Why they made many problems? The Lady Fatima explain it. Look at this side and understand many things about that. The Lady Fatima speaks why this happened for the Muslims. Exactly, Lady Fatima, one thing which is very important, him, she mentions there, is that because the people, they didn't follow completely the order of Islam. They didn't follow that. It is like the, Allah Almighty says, again mentioned to the Holy Quran, that we should not be like the people who are believer in something and non-believer to something else. Allah Almighty says that if the people want to choose something from Islam and believe in something in Islam and they don't want to believe in some other things, they are not Muslims. Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, we should not be like the people that Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, the Lady Fatima mentioned that because Allah Almighty says that entering to the Islam it is not enough. After that, you should act according to the order of Islam. You should try to act according to the order of Islam. It is more important than that. Exactly what Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. It's an important question. What's the meaning of that? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Amanu. If they believed in do something, what's the meaning of amanu after that? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Amanu. It's that the infallible imams mentioned that and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that the first is accepting the Islam and the other is the Iman and acting according to the thing that you have and at the end I don't want to waste your time in this day the thing which is important as I mentioned to you it is Ma'rifah having the Ma'rifah what's the meaning of Ma'rifah? is the Ma'rifah is knowledge? it is knowledge? no it is not knowledge if it was knowledge many people they understand many things we have many scholars but we have many ahadiths that many scholars go to the hell. Why? Having the knowledge, it is not important. Many people, they understand many things. Many people, they know that the corruption is very bad. Why they do that? They have knowledge more than all of us, but they go to the hell. Why? The meaning of ma'rifah, it is important. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, all of us, we have this opportunity to go to the Karbala, to go to the Mashhad. You know that when you go there, they say everyone who goes to the ziyara of Imam Raza alayhi salam with ma'rifah, inshallah, go to the paradise. With this condition, what's the meaning of ma'rifah? The people asked Imam Raza, what's the meaning of ma'rifah? The Imam Jawad alayhi salam, he said and mentioned that they should know exactly the pure of Islam. They believe should be at first pure from everything. And after that, try to do the good deeds and wajib and try to not to do haram. Trying, trying it is important. And acting according to the order of Islam. If they did that, Allah gives them ma'rifah, step by step. If they had ma'rifah with different problems, they can stay and be reliable. It's the ma'rifah is not knowledge. The ma'rifah is the thing that Allah gives to the people. When? When Allah gives the people ma'rifah, when they started exactly to be believer, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, amanu. If he believed, if our beliefs was complete, we learned completely, we accepted logically everything, and after that we try to act according to the, our knowledge. Acting according to our knowledge. If we try to do that, we try to not to do haram. In every matters, among the people, among other people, in different, when we are alone, اجتناب الحرام. And also we try to have our wajib obligatory. We try to do that. Although sometimes we do something mistakes, sometimes we have sin, because we are not infallible. We are not infallible. But the trying is important. If we did that, Allah Almighty gives us ma'rifah, knowledge. Ma'rifah is like the things that Allah Make it clear for all of us. Makes us 
some windows open to make us our beliefs strong and strong and strong. If we have ma'rifah, as much as we increase our ma'rifah, we will be more rewarded. We do our prayer, our pray will be more rewarded, inshallah. It is the thing that I wanted only to mention, as we have in our hadith, that inshallah, all of us pray to Allah, give us ma'rifah, inshallah. That Imam Sadr alayhi salam also mentioned, if you try, try to like to, you are not, you cannot be like us because we are infallible, Imam alayhi salam mentioned. But you try to do that, inshallah, we, we, you will be under the shafa'a all of us. We will give you shafa'a in the day of resurrection, inshallah. And uh, at the end, uh, on, in such a this time, important time, again, uh, I want to ask you to pray for all of the people before yourself. All of us, we have, in, especially in such a these states, we have many requests, we have many du'as, we have many difficulties in our life, in about many things that we, in our life that we have. But at first, at first, pray for Imam Zamanina, and after that, Pray for all the pe pe people, they are needy people around the world. Nowadays, especially in Syria, in Iraq, in Yemen, in all parts of the world, we have many people, they are needy people, we have, they have many problems about their life, about the problem that they have. Do I have dua and request Allah, inshallah, Allah solve all the problems of the Muslims around the world, inshallah, and uh, give us more reward, and the reward of heaven, inshallah, for all of us. Thank you brothers and sisters for your attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.